Hi, everybody. We're back. The time is 922. Last summer, you might recall, the city of Jordan swelled with visitors as it was a location for shooting the movie Marmalade. So this movie is now in theaters, and the mayor of Jordan, Mike Franklin, joins us here in the studios to talk about the impact they're seeing on the town uh, that has now hit the big screen. That's so right. the movie is finally open. It's really fun to see this. Lots of popcorn, lots of uh, confetti parades, things like that. <laughs> no, it was. So w when it came out, had you, did you get an uh, advanced copy of it or did you guys see it sort of when it was you released? No, we saw it. I actually saw it yesterday on the couch with my family okay. oh, streaming cool. as we do movies today. Yeah, so sure. no, nothing uh, particularly special uh, in terms of the release of the movie. We had quite a bit of heads up for the filming, of course, because there's a lot of logistics and coordination mm -hmm. that had to be uh, undertaken with the city and with our police department in particular. So. Sure. So you get the call, and what's it like trying to get your town ready? I mean, you you got to get things prepared. You want things to look good. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, look, from a government perspective, it, it is a lot of just logistics and primarily public safety and making sure that, um, you know, it was a, for, for one day, a fairly significant, um, you know, impact on our downtown uh, where they were shutting, there was a couple of streets that were shut down uh, for the filming and things like that. So it is public public safety, it's logistics, it's making sure that uh, some of our restaurants uh, are prepared for, uh, you know, you obviously to be shut down to the public, but also this amazing uh, response that we got from the broader community of thousands of people who were who were uh, crowded downtown that mm -hmm. day. Um, we're told that our business community had some of the, the retail establishments, some of the best days they'd had, um, you know, all probably, you know, in years, but certainly for that year. Uh, in that one day. Were you expecting this many people to show up for this Joe Keery fella who, uh, I'll be honest, I hadn't even heard of until we had this story last summer? So you, you, I have a similar take on that where I was like, kind of who? Uh, but I also have, a at the time, a 12-year-old daughter. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, <laughs> she knew exactly who he was. You in. And yeah. uh, she and my wife actually spent uh, several hours uh, that day downtown you know, trying to get a sighting. And that, my, uh, I was away for work that day. I was just in Rochester, but I got home around. I don't know, five, six o'clock, and I took my boys and went down and watched it. And it was really neat. I mean, he was, they were filming this one scene over and over and over and over uh -huh. again. And so we got to see Joe Keery walking up and down, uh, you know, Main Street and, and kind of doing the little, he's looking. And, uh, and then we saw that scene is right away in the movie. So it was kind of neat that we saw that happen, um, you know, in real time. I love hearing that. So the, the one thing about this is when you're trying to shoot a movie, things have to change. I mean, this movie is not set in 2024. Right. Right. Yeah, absolutely. No, it was set in the 90s. And so one of the things that we our our police department and, and our community had to help out with was sort of uh, uh, what do they call that? Uh, there's there's a term for it, uh, but but making sure that everything is appropriate. The so continuity. Of continuity. The whole thing. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. That's the, yeah. that's the term. So so making sure that, you know, if there's a if there's a 2016, you know, Toyota Camry parked on the street, that's got to move. That'll over. throw it off. Yeah. <laughs> and people will yeah. notice. Too. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. I'm sure there's websites devoted to <laughs> probably stuff we missed. They but, probably. Uh, yeah putting out calls, hey, does anybody have a 1994 Chevy Impala? Right. Where, you know. And a friend of mine actually had that uh, had that experience. Is that and so right? So brought his older car down, uh, older, from the 90s, right? Yeah, but, sure. Um, brought his older car down and, and uh, you know, tried to be a part of the movie. So that, that, that part was really kind of neat uh, as well, just that, that sort of opportunity to engage with, you know, a big... Big time Hollywood production. Yeah. I, obviously, I think it, from what I'm hearing, this has been a positive experience for Jordan. And uh, it, it sounds like you'd love it if there was uh, more things that could end up being shot. No there. question. Hollywood, I know you're watching. Uh, come, t come take a look well, at Jordan. Well, I do know the, <laughs> the, the movie scout who I'm guessing picked Jordan and a lot of the other spots where they shot Marmalade. She's she's from here. Local, yep. And yeah. so we, uh, Ann Healy, and she's great. We've had her on before on the show. Um, so, I, but she has certain things she looks for, right? Absolutely. And, and we're, a very, we're a very picturesque community. Yeah. I mean, you know, if you, you were talking during yeah. the break about you love Jordan, yeah. and, and we do too, obviously. We, we have a lot to offer, and, and certainly in terms of, uh, uh, you know, visual aesthetics and just beauty. And so I, I have no doubt that's why they chose us. That was one of the surprises to me was that the director, the site director, is, is a Minnesotan. And yeah. she came in and oh, had a couple is, encounters yeah. with our city council answering these types of questions. Mm -hmm. What can we expect? What should we be doing? That sort of thing. So that was neat. The first time you got that call, I mean, we want to shoot a movie here. What was your thought on that? Uh, you know, we were we were very welcoming. I mean, you know, we we take any opportunity we can to spotlight our community. And You're so, like, yeah. Why wouldn't you want to well, shoot a movie yeah. here? This of course you would. Yeah. Where have perfect. you been? Yes. <laughs> uh, I was growing up. You know, we were talking about you know like Grumpy Old Man and Jingle All the Way and Iron yep. Will. Yep. Some of these famous 
movies with Minnesota connections. And so we're, we're proud to be, you know, kind of a modern entry into that legacy. And people, people, people will remember that forever, right? Oh, no like doubt. That's, uh, and, and hopefully they'll have uh, more opportunities to see Jordan on film. No doubt. And, and, you know, we all got that little encounter with Joe Keery too. So that yes. was kind of, I mean, you can't beat that. What was your favorite part of the whole thing? Um, I think it was just seeing all that attention and all that focus, you know, that, that day, if you recall, it was, it was, like, it was in the mid nineties. It was it super was hot, so right? Hot. Yeah. And like all of this, I was getting, my phone was just blowing up with all yeah. these pictures of people, you know, just crowding the downtown and just kind of for that, for that glimpse of a, of a star, just to see the thing. I mean, it was like my boys and I, that was kind of our thing is just to see this production and watching them do, you know, the same scene over and yep. over just to get it right for mm -hmm. a couple seconds on, on mm -hmm. tape. Um, you know, they really, really work hard to get exactly what they want. Uh, so that, that part was really cool too. Well, thanks for stopping by. We'll, we'll have you back when, uh, Marmalade when the too. next one happens. There, there you go. go. Revenge yeah. of Marmalade. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right. Uh, thanks, Mike. Have a good rest thanks, of your day. I'll you uh, we'll post a link to the Marmalade movie trailer on our website, minnesotalive.com.